Give me a minute and I'll give you an update on the left bank of the Dnipro and what's happening down in the Kherson region. It is a complex and evolving situation. Now, yesterday I showed you this map indicating that at, in the area of the rail bridge into Poima, that the Ukrainians had landed uh, four companies of Marines from the 35th and 36th Marine Brigades, and that they had taken the towns of Poima and Piz, 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 oh, Pischenivka. I hope I got that right, guys. Um, it's close anyway. It's better than I've been doing. Um, now, that situation has changed since yesterday. Let's take a look at where the assaults are happening now. Now, that arrow on the left, that's in the region of the Antonovsky Bridge. That's where the established bridgehead has been for the last two months. And you've got Ukrainians on the left bank for two months now harassing uh, the forces in Oleshki. Then that second arrow, the one in the middle, is the recent advance into Poima over or near the rail bridge. Now we have reports that in the area of a town, uh, Krip Kripni, that third arrow, the one on the right, that there are 19, it's being reported that there are 19 speedboats ferrying Ukrainian troops across the border. They have made an incursion into Kripni and uh, there is fighting ongoing in that area. Now again, we do not know. Is this a sabotage reconnaissance attempt uh, to draw forces away from the Zaporizhia front line or to draw forces away from Avdivka? Uh, we don't know. We don't know. Could it be a full-scale operation? When we look at what's been going on for the last two months, the guys in, down there by the Antonovsky Bridge have not been idle. They've been actively targeting communication systems, actively driving the Russians from the islands in the river, actively pushing back and destroying artillery near the front. There have been artillery barrages from the, left, the right bank over to the east side of the Dnipro that could be interpreted as preparing the battlefield for a large-scale movement of troops. And there is evidence to suggest that there is a forced concentration of Ukrainians on the right bank in Kherson. How this will play out is anybody's guess. But we know that this front is the weakest flank of the Russian defense. We know that the Ukrainians, if they can get mechanized brigades across uh, the river, will face little resistance. We know that the Russians are pinned down in Zaporizhia, Donetsk, and up around Kupiansk. They can't draw people from there without risking a major breakthrough by Ukrainian forces. This could be the flanking maneuver that results in Crimea coming under siege and a backdoor attack that frees Zaporizhia from the grip of Russian forces. That is my fondest hope. But it is only a hope. And what do we hope for? We hope for fast victory and plan for a long war.